Hi everyone. So we're going to work through a problem where we're using the hydrostatic condition through multiple fluids. So in this configuration, we have air, pressurized air on top of oil that is on top of water. So in this problem, it states for the closed tank with bourbon type gauges tapped into it, what is the specific weight of oil? So we don't know the specific weight of oil and we're trying to find the pressure reading at C. So we don't know this pressure reading here. Okay, so what I have here are a, couple, a few general steps on how to solve these problems. So step one is set the datum. Step two is calculate your Z's relative to the datum. Step three is set up a system of equations or use the hydrostatic shortcut. We're actually gonna use a combination of uh, the system of equations and the hydrostatic shortcut in this particular problem. Okay, so uh, a few things to do. The first thing we have to do is set our datum. So I'm going to go ahead and set that at the bottom here. So this is my datum. This means that everything up is positive and down is negative. Okay. And I'm also going to label my heights. Um, this elevation height, I'm going to label as C, right? Because that corresponds to my pressure here at C. Now, we know we cannot use the hydrostatic uh, equation to flow through oil and water, right? We have to break it up. So the next elevation that we have to take is actually at the top of the water level. I'm just going to call this one, okay? The next elevation above that is going to be at pressure gauge B. So we'll label that B. And then again, at the very top of oil, um, we have another elevation that we need to label. But I want to take a moment to explain something. When you have pressurized air in a tank, uh, the pressure does not change significantly as you move down in elevation. It's very, 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 very small change. So what we generally do is neglect this change in pressure as you're going from the top of the air to the bottom of the air. So even though this 0.5 meters is labeled, we don't really consider the change in elevation because PA is here, here, and here at the top of the surface of the oil. So at the top here, we have pressure A. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to label this elevation here as A because I know that PA is existing at that elevation. So I, I've set my datum, and now I'm going to calculate my Z's relative to my datum. So I'm going to start from the bottom and work my way up. So ZC is 0 0.5 meters, right, based on the picture. Z1 is going to be 1.5 meters. ZB is going to be 2 meters. And ZC, I'm sorry, uh, ZA is going to be three meters, okay? So we have our elevations, our, our Zs relative to the datum. So we've done step one and we've done step two. Now step three is to set up your system of equations or use the hydrostatic shortcut. For the first part, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna solve for gamma oil. It's pretty simple. We know we're moving down, right, from A, uh, to B, we know that we have pressure at A and pressure at B. We know our elevations at A and B. The only thing that we don't know is our gamma oil. So if we write our hydrostatic equation, okay, which states that delta P is negative gamma delta Z, okay, and we use this equation to move, so we're going to use this equation to move from A to B, A to B through oil. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, so PA minus PB is negative gamma oil, ZA 
minus db. Okay, I like to check things off when I know things. I know this, I know this, and this, and this. The only thing we don't know is our gamma oil. Okay, so let's rearrange our equation to solve for gamma oil. Um, we have that negative. I'm going to go ahead and move it uh, uh, to the other side of the equation. So we'll get negative PA plus PB. I'm going to also divide by my Z. So ZA minus ZB is going to be uh, gamma oil. Okay, so if we go to the picture here, we have PA and PB. So we can go ahead and plug that into our equation. So PA is negative 50 kilopascals. PB is 58.53 kilopascals. ZA, um, we already calculated in the previous step, which is three meters minus ZB, which is two meters. Well, that's some pretty simple math, right? Um, so that's going to be gamma oil is just going to be the difference in pressures, right, divided by one. So that's 8.53 kilo. Now let's look at the units here. So I like to make little thinking bubbles. We have kilopascal in the numerator and meter in the denominator. Well, a pascal is also newtons per meter squared divided by meter. What does that give us? That gives us kilo newtons per meter cubed. So that is going to be our specific weight of our oil. All right. So in this next step, it says, we, now we want to solve for the pressure reading at gauge C. So what I'm going to use is I'm actually going to use the hydrostatic shortcut. Okay, so we can use a hydrostatic shortcut to go from, and now we're going to go from A to C. Okay, A to C. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm going to go ahead and say, oh, let's rewrite this equation. So P end is P start plus uh, the summation of gamma H down minus the summation of gamma H up which this portion is just saying that as we go deeper into the fluid, our pressure increases, which is why we have the positive sign. And in this case, as we become more shallow, so we go higher in elevation, our pressure decreases which is why we have that minus sign in front of it. Now the H is just signifying your change in elevation. Okay, um, I like to still keep my Z's and use those, but you can, you can just substitute them for H's, what, uh, for the change in elevations, whatever you prefer. Okay, in this particular example, I'm going to end at C. So I'm gonna say end at C, and we're going to start at A. So we're basically moving down our system. Okay, so we have PC is equal to PA. Now let's go back to our image. From A, we're gonna move through oil and go all the way down to one. Okay, so we're going from A to one through oil and we're going down. So we're gonna go plus, and I'm just labeling things here, A to one through oil, okay? Um, the next move, so now we're here, and I wanna to get to C, so we're going from one to C, down, so we're going we're, we have a plus sign and we have a plus sign. We're going down, one to C, down. 
So plus one to C, but now we're in water and that's it. We don't have any, any ups, right? So we just say we're done. No ups. That's it. That's, just, that's what we're doing in this, in this example. Okay. So PC is equal to PA plus gamma oil ZA minus Z1 plus gamma water Z1 minus ZC. Okay? All right. We have everything, right? We have PA, we have gamma oil, we have our Zs. Now, for the specific weight of water, we were not given any information about temperature. Um, so what we, in the problem statement or in the image, so we can assume that we're dealing with uh, standard uh, water uh, specific weight values. Um, so I tend to use 9810. Uh, newtons per meter cubed, um, but I know that my pass, my uh, pressure, and my specific weight values are all in, are all going to give me, are, sorry, are all going in, in kilo values. So this, we're going to just put this as nine point eight one kilonewtons per meter cubed, and that'll make my math a lot easier. Okay, so PC is equal to PA is fifty kilopascals or oil is 8.53 kilonewtons per meter cubed multiplied by ZA which we already have up here labeled ZA is 3 meters minus Z1 and Z1 is 1.5 meters plus 9.81 kilonewtons per meter cubed multiplied by 1.5 meters minus ZC, which is 0 0.5 meters. Okay, so let's just do some math here. So PC is 50 kilopascals plus 12.795 kilopascals plus 9.81 kilopascals. And in case you were wondering how we got to these units, so again, I have my thinking bubble. So we have kilonewton per meter cubed multiplied by meter. Well, that gets rid of one of our meters. So we end up with kilonewton per meter squared and newton per meter squared is a pascal. So that's how we end up with our kilopascal. Okay, so now let's add our numbers together. And we end up with PC is equal to 72.61 kilopascals. You could use, you can definitely use the longer version um, on this problem to solve for uh, the, sy the system of equations. So you would go from A to one, and then one to C. So you would have to set up that series in order to eventually get at PC. So hopefully I demonstrate that using this hydrostatic shortcut does have its benefits. It does make things go a lot quicker. I hope you enjoy the video and I hope you learned something useful from this.